Okay, let's compare the fields of physical science, chemistry, earth science, and physics. Chemistry studies the atoms and how they bond and interact with other atoms. That's what you need to focus on. If they talk about chemical reactions, chemicals changing into other chemicals, or just how bonding occurs, they are talking about chemistry. Earth science. Earth science focuses on studying rocks, if they are discussing how to identify rocks, how to, uh, how to identify layers of rocks, or, uh, or minerals. It also deals with studying the earth, the makeup of the earth, how the earth evolves and changes, planets, how are they formed, uh, what's the composition of planets, how, uh, how do they orbit the sun, play tectonics in terms of the earth, and also climate, weather, the atmosphere, and changes in all of these. If they talk about any of these, that's earth science. Physics involves the study of motion, so when things move, what makes them move, and how do they move, that's physics. But then also, if they are standing still, why are they standing still, what are the forces that help them stand still? So, dealing with forces as well as the domain of physics, identifying energy and conservation of energy, that's the domain of physics, same as momentum, electricity, how do we produce it, how does it behave, how do charges interact with each other, that's, that's physics. Same for magnetism, what's the reason for magnetism. Fusion, how do atoms, how do actually particles fuse and allow for bigger atoms to form, like in the uh, middle of stars or in uh, H-bombs, how do we get fusion? And then fission, what happens in nuclear power plants or atomic bombs, fission of atoms, that's also, understanding fission is in the domain of physics. And then the study of waves and their behavior, the types of waves, uh, and how they move, and what are their properties, that's all the domain of physics.